Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Nuria. How are you? Good. Can you? Hi, too. That is great. Yes. Apparently, you, it's just you right now and nobody yeah. else. Probably it's because it's eight o'clock right now probably that's why i guess but let's see probably they are going to to connect later mire teacher y cuántos son los que tienen su grupo como así es que supuestamente me dije me dejaron de oyente creo ah supuestamente ya estaba el grupo conformado por todos yes I got like with the let me check I got 20 uh -huh, and uh, 20. four and four listeners en este caso tengo 20 ya completos en la lista y cuatro oyentes en este caso so, para un total de 24 Okay. Yes. Yo creo que la, la, la mayoría, a ver si se logra enlazar porque cayó un mamellazo de agua horrible. Ah, really? It was raining there? Yes. Tuvo llovido más de como una hora quizás. Oh. In here it was raining too, but it was not that hard. It was just like a moment. It was like like 10 minutes. And that's it. Solo fueron como tres, como diez minutos acá. And that was it. Eso sí que fue fuerte. Like, kind of, you know, like, Trump, pero de ahí, ahí was very... Aquí sí, ha llovido y, y está así cernidito todavía. No wow. sé, por otros lugares. Uh, maybe we know the places. Maybe we know the places. All right, like Anna, but now more people are coming. Ah, that's cool. Hi, Eric. Good evening. Hi, good evening. I know you. Hi, Eric. You look happy How today, you? Eric. Escuche que en El Salvador está lloviendo. No sé si El Salvador está En El Salvador está lloviendo. Yeah, I mean, really? Is in another country? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, ahorita aquí en México. Mañana cruzo la frontera. <laughs> Next year los manda a traer. <laughs> Next year. And as soon as you get there, man, you forget about us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and in there, it's like, hey, 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 Eric, how are you? It's like, no te conozco. <laughs> <laughs> ya, le, ya, le, ya le voy a mandar al colladadero. That was ya crazy. Le... Ok. Mm, ya vale. ¿Y, que... ¿Y qué pasó con Salvador? Este, lo agarraron. Pasó, no? no, ahorita está preso. Ay, no, qué malo. Lo agarraron, andaba en una marcha gay ahí. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> ok. No, es que no se ha casado todavía. Lo que pasa es que eh, va a recibir las charlas matrimoniales que le, que le llaman. ¿va? Ah. Entonces eso es lo que eso es lo que sucede, que este se las han programado creo que dos veces a la semana. Tanta cosa, vea, si a la hora de las horas, por más que le digan a uno, si el que es necio, vea. Exactamente. You know, like, <laughs> vuelve el perro arrepentido. Come on, Eric. <laughs> I mean, if you if you really love someone, you know, like, and you want to be with that person, that, that's why people get married. 
And after marriage, like, why did I get married? <laughs> nah, I mean, life like a couple is very different in comparison to life uh, as a boyfriend and girlfriend. Very different. You got different. Less, yeah, I mean, you got less time, uh, you know, to dedicate, like to, like, to go on trips and all those things. You got to work because you got more responsibilities. Because I remember, because I remember me and my wife, when we were uh, used like, you know, in a relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend, we used to go out more often. Like every weekend, we used to go out and everything. But now that we are married, we just go out probably once a month, one time a month, if we got time. <laughs> if we have time. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like more responsibilities. Yeah, I mean, hi, good evening, Maritza. Yeah, Maritza, look, look at Maritza's like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> hi, Maritza. Good evening, everybody. Who are you, Maritza? You look tired today. I am sick. Really? Are you sick? I have a temperature. Ah, you got temperature? Really? Head, so, head, head, headache? Headache. Headache. Ooh. But uh, are you like in that uh, stage since the morning, the whole day, or now in the afternoon? Mm. Sorry, teacher, repeat. Are you like that, like with a headache and fever uh, from like like a couple of yesterday. hours ago? Uh, since yesterday? yesterday. Really? Mm -hmm. So it means you didn't go to work today? Yes, I I, I go to the, the work. Ah, you went to work? Yeah. I mean, working. I, in... I went to work. Whoa. Yeah, I mean that's horrible when you're like like mm. like that and, and you have to work. That's really horrible. <sighs> but I hope you get better soon, okay? How you get better? By tomorrow you might be better. Are you taking mm. medicine? Yes, I take. Ah, cool, cool. That's that's nice. Keep it profane. Ah, that's that's cool. I hope you get better. By tomorrow you will be okay. <laughs> yes. So let's see what about the rest. Uh good evening, Carla, Ruth, Jennifer. Are you there? Yeah, I mean they are like not connected. I think they are not there, right? Good evening, teacher. Ah, all right. Good evening, Jennifer. I'm here. <laughs> ah, she's there. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Jennifer? How was your day? Um, very well. <laughs> very well? Mm, nice. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, and you? I mean, good, too. You're like a little bit tired, but here we go. <laughs> 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 uh, trying to... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Trying to push up more energies, like, you know, like... To finish this this <laughs> this you know, activity that we got tonight. A esta hora, usted es el encargado de elevar nuestras energías. Exactly, that's the way. <laughs> I'm in charge of doing that. <laughs> no, but you, yeah, but you don't look that tired, Jennifer. That's good. I mean, you don't look like kind of tired, but like the rest, I think are in like in the morning. I mean, the Monday mood. Like in the morning, I was like ah. Do I have to wake up early? <laughs> but not like, like, yes, you know, like yeah. yeah, but when I was finishing yes, work. Pero you estuvo el respect. Uh -huh, yeah. You estuvo el respectivo café del día. Ah, yes. Yes. Right after the coffee, you, you, I mean, you feel better. You feel with more energy. Yes. Do you, do you drink coffee, Jennifer? Yes. Ah. Ooh, yeah. Nice. yeah, I mean, I was last, last, Así last me time. Mantengo viva. 
Yeah, same here. Me too. Real, me too. I got my coffee there. Right? Man, I, like something I was I was telling to 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 these people in the previous modules is like, like I do really love coffee and everything, but my wife doesn't like it. I mean, she hates coffee. <gasps> yeah, and and but it, but that's it, great. I, I tell her that she's weird because I mean, she hates coffee. I mean, drinking coffee, but she likes the smell. You know, like the 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 smells from the coffee. She likes to smell it. But she hates to drink it. I mean, it's just weird. Smell? Um, smell. Smell, smell, smell. Smell, smell. Oler. No está en mi vocabulario. I mean, ah. smell, oler, oler. Yes. Para los que viven del lado de, de Oriente, que, van, que se mueven de Oriente a San Salvador, cuando pasan por la Cos Café, uno de los colores más ricos. Oh, yeah. Bueno, cualquier empresa, ¿verdad? Empresa de café. Yes, man, that, that, that smells so nice by there. <laughs> yeah, man. Probably one day I will go there and buy a lot of coffee to bring it here to have coffee for more than a year or something like that. I'll probably Eddie, when he's passing by there and comes to Oriente, he will pick up some coffee. Right, Eddie? Right, teacher. Yeah. Oh, man. Cool. So, good evening to everybody. Uh, I think we're going to start. 10 minutes have passed. So, we're going to start with the attendance list to move on with the information that we have for tonight. So, just give me a second. I'm going to pass the attendance list to start. Mm -hmm. So, let's see these people. Ana Claribel. Yeah, she's late, right? Ana Maria. No, right? Carlos Ademir. Hey, Carlos has not connected. Eric Guillermo. Present. No, okay, good. Eder de Jesus. Ah, Eric is in traffic. Right, right now. Yeah, I mean, he, he texted to the group and he said that he's on traffic. So let's see. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Now, okay, good. Gilmar Cruz. I just on time. Gilmar, are you there? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, just on time. I'm, I'm doing the attendance list. And you're like, when I call you, you appear just on time. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Good, man. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Eric me avisa cuando van a pasar lista. Ah, that's why. <laughs> Corre. Uh, eh, ver en un chupadero del centro, lo vi. Ah, okay. Okay. He was celebrating, man. He was celebrating. Jorge Elvir. No here, right? Hey, what happened to Jorge? Here Monday. <laughs> Yes. All right, Carla Benazir. Present teacher, solo me permite unos minutitos y termino una reunión. Ah, okay, no problem. Right. Gracias. Okay, Margot Hernández. Margot, 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 she has been connected. All right, Maritza Alcira. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Natalie Vanessa, I think she's gonna connect late. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen. Okay, just not there, right? Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, good. Sara Carolina. Present. Sara Carolina, it's not here, right? Hi, hey, Ever, are you here, right? Present teacher. Okay, good, Ever. I'm at. No, 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 no. Stephanie Lisette is not here. Vanessa Odette. Is she here? Mm -hmm. No. No, okay. Uh, William Alberto. Hey, William, I connected. 
and then everybody's like in the mood uh, in the Monday mood, like not connected. <laughs> Roxana Yesenia is not here. Nubia Sulema. Yeah, Nubia was the first one. Present. Yes. Okay, good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, very good. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Is it Diana here? Thank you, sir. Hi, Diana. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. It's good to listen to you. I cannot, I cannot tell you it's good to see you because I cannot see you. All right. Okay. Nah, okay. Good. There you go. Ah, yes, you're there. Okay, good. Welcome. Again. Thank you. It's really good to see you. Good evening. Yes, I got uh, I get this person that is not here. She's here. Okay, good. So we're going to start up. Uh, and the first thing that we're going to be doing right now is like to talk a little bit from the last class that we were practicing and we were doing a couple of exercises before we, we finished the class last Friday. So can somebody tell me what was the topic from last class, from specifically last Friday? What was the topic? How much and how many? Mm, yeah, that was on, on uh, Thursday, the first video conference. Good, Jonathan. And how about the second one on Friday? On Friday. What we study the use of head, head to has to. Ah, okay. Very good. We were, we were like discussing have to and has to, right? Okay. Very good. When do we use have to? Or what do we use? Have to for. When utilizamos have to? In what moment? Have to. Um, to show para, some obligation. Ah, okay. All right, there you go. So thank you, Marisa and Ever. You are right. We use have to to show obligations about something. Okay. Example, like. You have to practice English during the class. So you see that is an obligation that you are like, like you know, like in the obligation to do, right? Or exactly like another one. You have to be on time in your work, right? Because what happened if you got late to your work? Ah, you are going to be scolded. Van a ser regañados. All right. So, so in that case, you are showing what? You're showing an obligation about something, okay? Uh, I think we got familiar with that, right? That was like kind of easy topic. I think you managed it. So I think we're not gonna have that much problem. But I would like to listen to you people like telling me one example of using that. For example, my example, taking it as a personal example, I can say, I have to teach English from 8 to 10 p.m. All right, that is an obligation for me because I'm your teacher, right? <laughs> I cannot leave you alone here. So I have, to, I mean, I had the obligation to do it. Okay, now let's give an example. Let's think in one example. And then when you have it, let me know. And I'm going to start with, uh, let me see, with Ever. I know Ever can do it. Ever, give me an example using have to or has to, that's optional. And for okay. the rest, think, think in one example. Los demás piensen en un ejemplo, right? And, and let, let me know right after ever. Right ever, do it. Okay, let me see. I have to work from Monday to Friday every weekend. Every week? Every week, yeah. every week, sorry. Okay, very good ever. All right. Can somebody Good else? Good evening, Jorge. 
Good to see you again. Thank you so much. All right. Aha. Aha, people. Can somebody else tell me an example using the structure? Ah, okay. Go on. Eh, uno con have to y el otro con have to y el otro con have to. Eh, I have to clean my room. Okay. Y entonces sería, eh, he has to eat dinner now. Okay, very good. Excellent. Can somebody else give me an example? I have to work eight hours a day. Okay. Very good. All right. Another example, people. Check this out. This is, a, this, is a, this is the example I told you. All right. And in third person, she has to cook the dinner. So let's put it this way, okay? So this is just, just an example, right? From the ones that we were practicing last Friday. Well, let's keep going. Uh, let's see, uh, Fatima, give me an example. It might be a personal example. From my I have to do my homework. Ah, yes. Actually, I'm gonna check if you have done it. Good, okay. Fatima. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Okay, to you. Nubia, help me out with one example. Um, I have to take uh, medicine all day. Ah, okay, cool. There you go. Thank you, Nubia. Eric, go on. Okay, teacher. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Now, okay, that's an obligation. And in the second, she has to wash the dishes. Ah, okay, good. That's like a second example. Thank you, Eric. There you go. Uh, let's see, Jennifer, help me out with one example, please. Uh, I have to buy black shoes for my work. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's an obligation, right? Because it's part of the rules in your job. Okay, good. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, let's see who else was in the class last class. Natalie, are you there? Hola, teacher. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> but mi ejemplo sería, I have to write the homework. Ah, okay. Yeah, you have to write the homework. Mm -hmm. Y la otra sería, she has to... Uh, she has to wash the car. Okay, that might be another one. She has to wash the car. Okay. That's an obligation, right? So you're showing in that case. Okay, good. Thank you, Natalie. Let me see who else was in the class. Ah, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, are you on your way home, Vanessa? No, teacher. I am driving. Aha, that's why I'm, aha, that's why I'm telling you. On your way home. Todavía de camino? Yes, teacher. Ooh, okay. Drive safely. Vaya con cuidado, entonces. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. So let's see. Carla. Help me out with one example, Carla. I am in Carla. Hi, Vanessa. teacher. Hi. I'm in single reunion. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about it, Carla. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Right. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Romeo? Give me an example, Romeo. Okay, no sé si me escuchan bien, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, Romeo, I didn't listen. Me escucha bien. Eh, casi no le escucho muy bien. Eh... Uh, no sé si ahora. Okay, can you read your example, please? 
So and I, I have eat in the morning. I have to eat in the morning. I have to eat in the morning. Mm, okay, all right. That might be another one. Okay, cool, Romeo. Nice. And let me see who is the last one. Ruth. Ah, now I remember. Ruth was in the class, right? So, um, I have to check email every day to my work. Now, okay, very good. That's an obligation, right? That you have to check the emails every day in your work. Okay, very good, Ruth. Thank you. So that was part of the topic, right? That we were practicing uh, last Friday, last class, about the uses of have to and has to when we show obligation about something. So I know Jorge couldn't come, uh, couldn't join the class last Friday, but Jorge, are you getting into this topic? Are you understanding the way how we create sentences using have to and has to? Uh, 50 50, <laughs> but I need, <laughs> more I need more information about this topic. Aha, aha, uh, okay. I have in the in the user I have, uh, maybe for me it's a, a, is I have two problems my cell phone today. It's, one, it's a simple. I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. It's likely similar. So when okay. we use when we use have to, we are showing obligation about something that we that for us it, it, as I told you, it's an obligation to do. Okay. Oh, okay, the, the obligation in the office. In the, exactly. In the... It might be in the office, it might be in your house. Okay. All right. And the structure is likely like the examples I have I have been like writing down in here. For example, I as I told you, I have to, and right after have to, you need the verb that indicates the action. For example, I have to prepare the class for tomorrow. Okay. So you see, in this case, yes. we need a verb, an extra verb to provide an answer, right, or an action about what is the obligation that we got to do. So in this case, okay. have to is just to show obligation. And in third person. Uh, in, one question. In the, huh? this action is the, maybe something is the, the obligation now or the present or the past? I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Now, this one is a simple present. And you can okay. use also like, like expressions like tomorrow, like this one, okay. express future. In simple past, it changes. That's why, I mean, we're not like being practicing this like right now, right? But probably in the future, we will see this structure, but in the simple past. Now it's just a simple present. Okay, perfect. Okay, and in third person, like when we use he, she, it, or a singular now, we use has to. All right. So you see? She has to go to the meeting. So this is an obligation for her, right? Like, ella okay. tiene que ir a la reunión. So you see, like, in that case, you're showing obligation, right? So Perfect. have to and has to is the same. The only difference is that has to is used for third person and have to is used for first person and plurals. That's, that's the only difference. Okay, right? perfect. Thank okay. you for the, intro the introduction. <laughs> no, okay, cool. No problem. All right, what are we gonna do right now? What we basically are going to do is like, just to finish this topic up, uh, we are going to do this part. Give me a second. The part that we were missing in last class, right? Just to get into the new topic that we're going to be doing like in a moment. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna show you this. This is the, the, the part Teacher. that we were missing. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, solo, solo para eh, que le sirva de apoyo a Jorge. Ahí mandé las imágenes al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, okay. All right, perfect. Thank you, Eric. There you go. Uh, I know I'm in the, no adding in the group. You're not in the group, Jorge? No. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My God, Jorge. I'm gonna give please, you, I'm gonna send you the uh, link. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, yes, perfect. Sir. Thank teacher, you. Teacher, Thank yo you, no soy en el grupo tampoco. Porque yo no me conecté a la primera clase. Ajá. My people. Give me a second. I'm going to send you the link. Thank you, Eric, for the information. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. So. Give me a second. Where is the chat? I see here. I'm gonna send you through here through this chat. All right, there's the link. So open up the link. Okay, thank you. And you can join it from there, all right? Right okay. now. Okay, no problem. All right, let's continue. So in here we got remember affirmative and negative statements using have to and has to. Okay, in affirmative statements. Ah, by the way, before continuing, listen up. Just like a model, uh, just like a general review. Look, in esta parte de los negativos, all right, just for you to get to know this, acá el libro tiene un pequeño mistake, un pequeño error. Where? In here. Acá, en vez de has, tiene que ser have, okay? Just for you to remember that. This one. This both, both sentences, they got to be in base form. And the base form of the verb is have. Ok, recordemos que acá, acá en esta, en esta parte acá, tiene que ir have porque eh, la acción de la tercera persona la está haciendo el auxiliar. En este caso, doesn't. Ok, just for you to remember. So, let's, let's keep this part. Ok, let's skip this part. Let's read it and then do the examples that appears in there. And then we're going to move on with the topic for today. So, we've got affirmative and negative. Eric, help me out reading the first example here. I have to store this package. Now, okay, thank you. Let's see, Jonathan, help me read in the second example, please. They have to take everything to the warehouse. Now, okay, thank you. Nubia, help me out with the number three. We have to ask for permission. Now, okay, very good, Nubia. Thank you. Maritza, let's read the next one. The truck driver has to bring the material. Material. All right, Maritza, let's read again. The truck. The truck. Driver. Driver. Has to bring. Has to bring. The material. The material. Excellent, Marisa. All right. So in that case, it changes, right? Ahí ya no es have to. Ya es has to. Why? Because in that case, we're talking about a third person, right? It's... Or singular. Exactly, right? So in what is what is the subject here? The truck driver, the truck right? Driver. Exactly. That's that's it, it. It is talking about a person, right? Singular. And the next example, Jennifer. He has to use the left. He has to use the left. Very good. Thank you. So in that case, it's like has to, right? In positive statements, remember, <laughs> has to, right? In, in plural, have to, first person, have to, and so on. How about negatives? Remember, in negatives, we use an auxiliary verb. And what is the auxiliary verb that we use? We use don't for first person and plural. And we use doesn't for third person or singular. Exactly, right? Uh, let's read the first example. Ever, help me out, please. Okay, I don't have to store these packages. Okay, thank you. So if you take a look in here, we got don't and we got the base form of the structure. All right, Diana, help me out reading the second example, please. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. Warehouse. Okay. Warehouse. All right. Very good. Thank you, Diana. So let's see who can help me out with this. Vanessa, let's. Anna, Vanessa is on the way home. Uh, Ruth, help me a reading, please. 
we don't have to ask for permission. Ask for permission. Ask for permission. Okay, thank you, Ruth. All right, we don't have to ask for permission. Remember, recordemos que cuando ya usamos don't have to, es cuando no estamos mostrando obligación, okay? In here is optional, right? Aquí es como no tienes que. That's a translation, right? Like don't have to. So this is the way how we can, how we can use it. Let me check who can help me out. Fatima, help me out reading the next example. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. The material, okay. The material. All right, thank you. And we got the last one, Romeo. All right, one second. This is the one that I told you that we need to change. <clears throat> yes, the last one. Remember that you have to change has and put have. Ah, she doesn't have to use the light. All right, listen up. He doesn't have to use the lift. Okay. He okay. Has to. Yeah, have to, remember. Ahí, como les mencioné anteriormente, hay un pequeño uh, error de libro, ¿ok? Y en ese caso uh -huh. vamos a poner have to, no has to. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos un auxiliar ahí, que en este caso es doesn't, ¿ok? And that's the, doing the action of the third person. You just, you just modify the example in that case, right? Got to know the example. There you go. Yes, Diana. Tengo una duda. Ajá, uh -huh, tell me. Pero es tercera persona. Yes, but remember, in that case, it's negative. And when it is negative, uh, what do we do? En este caso, recordemos, cuando es tercera persona, utilizamos doesn't. Si se acuerda, si se acuerda Diana, que eh, la regla gramatical o la regla de los verbos nos dice que todo verbo que termine en O se le agrega ES en tercera persona. Do you remember that? Teníamos go, goes, do, das. Entonces, acá, el que sufre la, la modificación, Diana, remember, es el auxiliar, que sería do, ya transformado en tercera persona, ya sería das, más el not unido sería doesn't. Okay, en primera persona o plural sería don't, ok, entonces si ya tenemos esa modificación ya no es, no es necesario colocar la estructura have to como has to, ¿por qué? porque has es la tercera forma, right, o el, el, la forma singular de have to, right, entonces ese solo lo vamos a utilizar en oraciones afirmativas, in positive statements, ok, pero ya en negatives tiene que ir la estructura have to, porque ya está el auxiliar que está haciendo la modificación. That's why. Okay, okay cool. There you go. All right. So what do I really want with this, people? Let's just focus on this. This is what do I really want you to finish. All right. Good to finish. Right after we finish this part, we can move on with the new topic that we're going to have today. Check this out. What are we going to do there? I want you to complete those examples. How come? We are going to complete them using have to or has to. Okay. Example. Check this out. In here, we have the verb. Acá tenemos los verbos. Check this out. Pile up, buy, not sign. Cuando aparezcan acá, el not nos está diciendo que esta oración va a ser negativa, right? It is going to be negative. Entonces, ¿qué usamos con los negative? Don't, if it is singular, I mean, if it is first person. Exactly. If it is first person, we use don't. If it is third person, we use doesn't. Remember that. Okay. No simplemente vamos a poner not. Recuerden. Right. 
Then we got design and we got not work. This is another negative, okay? Let's do number one. Let's do number one as an example, and then you can continue with the rest. For example, the company, and it says buy new materials. Help me out to finish. Has to buy. The company have to or has to? Has, has to. Uh, have to. Has to has buy. To. New has to buy. Okay. Has to, remember, because it's only one company. It's singular, all right? La compañía, all right? Okay, the company has to buy. 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 There you go, new material, all right? And you got that one, right? Ya tenemos la oración, okay, completa. Okay, let's do the other ones, please. Hagamos las demás, por favor. Y me hacen saber cuando hayan terminado. Just let me know when you finish so we can move on. Good one, Eric. <laughs> I know a lot of people in here, in, by the place where I live, a lot of people happen, have, have happened something like that. This is great. All right, just let me know when you finish. Okay, thank you, Maritza. You finished already? That's great. for the rest just let me know when you finish people are missing today. All right, people, are you about to finish? All right, cool. Okay, do you finish ever? Nice. Okay, Eric, you too? Cool. I guess, Jennifer, you finished, right? Me too. 
Any fair, what does it mean? ¿Qué significa eso? It's like, <laughs> yes, but... Es un, yo, es un, yo digo que sí. It's a, it's a yes, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Fatima, you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, I guess everybody finished. So let's, let, let's keep going with this then. Mm -hmm, let's see. I'm gonna go strike with the specific names so you can help me out, right, with the ready. Jonathan, can you help me out with number two? How is it? Um, your partner has to pile up a container. Like this? Container, like this, Jonathan? Uh -huh. Is everybody, do everybody agree with uh, uh, Jonathan? Uh, I am user have to pile. pile. No. Why? Yes. Uh, plural. Plural. Uh, yes. Habla de... Ellos. Ellos. Uh -huh. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. In that case, we are to modify that one, Jonathan, because since it is says partners, so that is plural. Let me check. Si, solo, si no estuviese la S acá en la palabra partner, estaría bien. Right? It will be okay. But that one, in that case, has to change like this. Your partners, okay. tus compañeros, right? Your partners have to pile up containers. Okay. All right, cool. Hilmar? No, teacher, no era necesario agregar el, the container. O solo containers. Containers, because it is plural. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All okay, Hilmar, help me out with the next example, please. Okay. The agent don't have to sign the leader. Like this? Yes, it's correct. Okay, the agents don't have to sign the letter. Okay, does everybody have it like that? Do everybody has it like that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe <laughs> I, I am. Maybe I am wrong. But the I you said the have to the have to not sing. Ah, uh, yeah, Jorge. In that case, we have to write down don't. Double, double, double negation. Exactly. Because, oh, okay, okay. I, I mean, Thank you. I mean like, like the way I have it right now, because in that case, to make it negative, we need an auxiliary verb. In that case, it's okay. do. Do, and then we okay. add not. Do not or don't contract it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The change. Okay, cool. Maritza? Help me read in the next one. <clears throat> Mr. Bonilla has to design new new models. Now, okay, very, very good. Why has to? Because in that case, we got Mr. Bonilla, only one <laughs> person. Okay, it's just only only one one person. Jennifer, why are you putting that expression? <laughs> Porque esa expresión, Jennifer. It's like, ah, oh, I got it wrong. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in that case, it's, remember, has to. Good. And let's write down the last one. Natalie, did you finish the last one? Sí. Sería the group. The group, uh, give me a second. Yeah, the group, uh huh. Uh, the group, um, don't like, okay, don't, don't have to work. Uh, no, sé si está bien. <laughs> until, like, 
Do you have it like this? Ah. Uh -huh. Sí, así le sé. Yo no sé si estará bien. What do the rest think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? Is that correct? Be correct. Is it correct? It's it correct. Yes. It doesn't doesn't have four. Why why uh, Como el ejemplo? Why do you put doesn't, Jennifer? Because it's plural. Because it's plural? Yes. El grupo no. es... Listen. It's single. Yes. Singular. A pesar, a pesar que hablamos Singular. de un grupo de personas, estamos hablando del grupo en sí, no de las personas. Por lo tanto, the group has Singular. two has two, all right? Now I have two. So in that case, it, it, the, it's that negative. Name, that's that, that name, all right? And so in that case, in negative, doesn't have two. Entonces cambiamos el don't por el doesn't. Let's remember that, okay? Esa palabra, like group, es como la palabra family. A pesar de que cubre muchas personas, la palabra family es una palabra en singular. Okay, it's not plural. All right, so let's change it in here. And just write down that way. So it's like this. The group doesn't have to work until late. Okay. There you go, people. It's like that. So with this exercise, basically we are finishing uh, like the last thing that we were doing uh, related to the topic, all right, from, from the last class, right? Now let's jump into the class that we're gonna, I uh, like the topic that we're gonna have for, for tonight. So do you, do you copy like that, the things like this? Yeah. Do you got everything? Okay, perfect. <clears throat> it does Because I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm going to put the presentation that you're gonna have. Okay. Uh, I, Gonna be discussing like right now. Okay, so let's start up. So we were finishing have to and has to. Now we're gonna start up with can, can for information and possibility, right? So that is like the main thing that we're gonna be discussing, right? Can for possibility and also for information. That is going to be like, like uh, the main thing that we're gonna be doing, okay? So let's keep going. So like the agenda that we had, like the feedback from the previous class, what we did a moment ago, remember we were practicing uh, the uses of uh, have to and has to, and we were finishing some things that we were missing from last class. Uh, we work in the manual. We finish the work in the manual related to that part. Okay, now we're gonna start up with can for information and possibility. Okay, and then we're gonna start up with, uh, like, you know, like, like some uh, uh, work in the manual. And we are going to finish just by checking the exercises that we are going to do related to this topic. Okay, this is pretty much what we are going to do. But let's start off with the information of can, all right? That is used to talk or to ask information or to talk about possibilities. Let's go on. So let's start with can. Okay, we got can. Let's read the definition. Novia, help me out, please. Okay, so can uh, we use? Can to ask for information or express possibility about something. Now, okay, about something, right? We use can to ask for information, remember, or express possibility about something. Examples. Let's start up. Hilmar, help me out reading the question, please. Can you make a phone call? A phone call, right? Can you phone make call. a phone call? There you go. Slide. Puedes hacer una llamada? 
So you see, like, like in that case, this part <clears throat> is just it just talks about like how to ask information, right? So remember when we use uh, can at the beginning of the question, it means it is a yes no question <laughs> and a yes no answer. So like the answer, uh, Maritza, read the answer, please. Yes, I can. I can make a phone call. Now, okay, very good. So this is basically a yes, no, all right, question. Why is 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 called like that? Because the two ways of answer is just with yes and no. That's it. All right, ever read the question the, 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 the negative example, please? No, I can't. I can't make a phone call. Okay, very good. No, I can't. That's the <laughs> negative part, right? That is the negative. No, I can't. I can't make a phone call, right? What are we asking in that case for? Remember, in esta parte acá, básicamente lo que hacemos es pedir información, right? About something. That's what it is. Like to ask for information, right? And in a somehow to express a possibility about something related to one activity. Okay, let, let's see the structure. Yes, no question, structure. Let's start off with that. Check this out. This, this development of the structure is like kind of easy for everybody because we have been practicing that before, right? Give me a second, sure. guys. Someone is, someone is trying to enter. Uh -huh. Podría poner la lámina anterior solo, pero toma una captura. No, ok, dime un segundo. There you go. Yes, teacher, thank you. No, ok, cool. All right, let's finish copying that part. Give me a second. I need to send something. Someone has problems to enter to the video conference. Got it there. Ha, ha, ha. Someone is playing. Ha, Ruth. Okay, good. Check that out. Can. Can. Capaz que la mujer está también. Is the Rosa de Guadalupe or what? Por eso, word. esa otra también está preñada. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. It's preñet. <laughs> Interesting. He visto que no solo a mí me pasa eso. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I no me no me Nos quedamos en capítulo. Yes, yes. Hi, Ruth. Okay, uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna continue. Give me a second. Okay, <laughs> that was that was an awkward woman. <laughs> Give me a second. Lo que callamos las mujeres. Okay. Uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the structure, people. Just no questions, the structure. Like, check that out. We use can plus subject plus the main verb plus complement plus the question form. Right? This, this structure is going, is going to be made only in. Well, all right, this structure, we're going to practice it only in questions. Okay, only in questions. So let's see some examples. All right, give me a second. All right, examples. Uh, let's see who has not participated yet. Let's see. <laughs> Diana, help me a reading. Diana, are you there? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, can you please help me out reading the question? Can you store the box in the warehouse? Ah, okay. Can you store the boxes in the warehouse? Probablemente. Okay. Okay. okay, let's continue. Uh, can you store the boxes in the warehouse? So you see that's, that's like just, when we start up a just no structure with a question, remember we start out with the auxiliary verb first. And in this case, can is the auxiliary verb, right? It's like, like, like can you store the boxes in the warehouse? Like, puedes guardar, you know, like las cajas en la bodega? So you see the models of answers is just yes, I know. So you see, we got it there. Eric, help me out reading. Yes, I can. I can sort the boxes in the warehouse. Ah, okay, very good. Let's see the second one, Jonathan. Can she save the information in the computer? Okay. Can she save the information, right, in the computer? So you see, that's another question, right? So let's see, Fatima. Tell me a reading the answer, please. No, she can. She can save the information in the computer. Okay. So that's a negative answer, right? Using a yes, no question. So check that out. Like we tend to, to make that, I mean, or to answer in, in, in negatives, we got to like do double negative, right? First, no, she can't. And then she can't say the information in the computer. All right, what do we uh, like intend to do in this case? Just remember, it's, it's just like to ask for information, all right? This is like when you're asking for information or a possibility of something. In that case, the second one, it's more related to a possibility about something. Entonces acá, ¿qué hacemos? Estamos expresando que una posibilidad de algo que suceda, okay? It's expressing a possibility. All right, people. I think this topic like for you is like kind of easy because you have been practicing can before and the ones who were with me in the previous models, we were practicing can too. So like right now, can you provide me one example question using a just no answer, of course? Like for example, can you write one example using can? So you see, that's a question. Like a just no question using that auxiliary verb. All right, let's do one example, people. Mientras me hacen el ejemplo, for my question, solo haganme la, la muy pregunta, okay? Write down the only question, just the question. Mientras lo hacen, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Voy a pasar asistencia because it's 9, 9.03. I'm going to stop sharing this part to pass the tennis list. Okay, let's start. Ana Claribel. Hey, Ana's not here. Ana Maria. Present. Ana Maria, you're there. Okay. Carlos Ademir. Mm, it's not connected. Eric Guillermo. Present. Me teacher. Oh. Ah, where? Hasta bien tarde me mandó eso. Ya me lo había, ya, le, ya, me, ya había recurrido a Eric. What? No, is it, the thing yeah. is that I was explaining something to the class. That's why I, I didn't, I didn't see the, the cell phone before. Sorry. Uh -huh. Hoy entiendo por qué dijo el teacher que no quería enviarlo que hasta después. No, no sabía por qué. <laughs> ah, my It's God. No, casi nada, ¿verdad? 
es que el otro lo borré, el otro, es que muchos chats tengo yo en mi teléfono, demasiado, entonces el otro, sí, es que del de trabajo, de, de grupos, de, ajá, entonces ajá. borré ese, pero quedó el nuevo, el, el que ahora estamos. Ah, ok. No te oyó, Gilmar, <risa> repetirle. ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo, Gilmar? Let's continue, ok. <risa> All right, let's see, ever de Jesús. Present. Ok, cool. Fátima, Alejandra. Present. Nice. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Perfect. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Nice. Jorge Elvir. I'm here. Perfect. Let's see, Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Margot Hernandez. Ooh, oh, here, right. Okay, Marit Salsira. I did it to mommy. I hear it. I did it to mommy. Okay. Here, Betty. All right. I did it to mommy. Esta tía de emoción. Saludos, saludos. Saludos a su mami. Me asustó. Muchos saludos a la. Muchos saludos a su mami. Muchos saludos a su mami. Hello, de tu mami. Hello. Lo siento, se me encendió el micrófono. Ok. Ok. Good. Let's. Let, let's, let's continue. Ok. Ahí sí, me perdí donde iba. Ah, Maritza Alcira, right? Present teacher. Ok. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Nice. Romeo Alexis. Present. Ok, great. Rosa del Carmen. Rosa, are you there? Present. Okay, Rosa, thank you. Let's see, Ruth, Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Sara Carolina. Where is Sara? Sara, 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 I think she left. Okay, good. Uh, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, good. Vanessa Oder. Present teacher. Okay, cool. And uh, William Alberto. Uh, William is not, not connected. Okay, let's see. Roxana Yesenia. Not here. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Nice. And Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay. Perfect. So let's continue. Let's see. Just let me check this out. Okay. I guess you got the examples right already. So let's start up with Eric. Eric, read the question, please. Okay, teacher. Um, can you send me tomorrow twenty dollars? Can you send me twenty dollars tomorrow? Remember, time expression oh. at the end. Okay. Respond me. <laughs> no. I'm asking my wife if she got money. <laughs> yes, I can. I can send you twenty dollars right tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, huh? on Bitcoin? The Bitcoin Sandy. <laughs> I'm at, I'm trying to steal the, the 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 balance from my wife, but she can't, I mean she she doesn't let me. I'm telling her that I'm gonna take a picture when she's sleeping so I can, you know, like take the, the thirty dollars from her. <laughs> that would be cool. All right, Gilmer, read your question. Uh, can you play any musical instrument? 
Okay, good. Thank you, Hilmar. Fatima, answer that question. ¿Cómo dijo, perdón? Answer the question Hilmar uh, said. Pero, repeat, please, es que no escuché. Hilmar. Can you play any, can you play any musical instrument? No, I can't. I not play. I can't, and I can't play. I can't play uh -huh. any music, no, no, musical, musical instrument. 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 All right, very good. Thank you, Hilmar. Now, Fatima, read your question, yeah. and Ever is going to answer that question, okay. whether with a positive or negative statement. Can you start the meeting? Okay, good. Ever? Yes, I can. I can start the meeting. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Ever, read your question and Carla is going to answer. Okay. I don't know. Can you... Can you make the dinner for your family? Okay. Okay. Um, yes, I can. I can dinner. Make. Make dinner in my family. Um, for. For my family. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Ever. Now, Carla, read your question, and Jennifer is going to answer with a positive or negative statement. Okay. Can you buy him dinner? Very good. Can you buy? Esta fue la pregunta, perdón. Okay. Yes. Can you buy a, a dinner? Can uh, you, buy, I you can... buy him? Yes, yes. Uh, repeat, please. Carla, repeat the question. Okay. okay. Can you buy him dinner? Yes, mm. I can him buy dinner. Buy him dinner. Buy him dinner. Buy him dinner. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, cool. Ah, you can buy me food? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. ¿Podrías comprarle a él comida? That was the question. Him, him. Es un object pronoun ah, que okay. se refiere a él. Bye. Mm -hmm. no, ok, cool. Now, uh, thank you, Carla. Now, Jennifer, read your question. And Nubia is going to answer. Can you lend me a pen, please? Ah, right, Nubia? Nubia. Nubia. <laughs> yeah, Nubia. No, yeah, you got your microphone off. <coughs> no, yes, it's sleeping. Sleep. No, yeah, are you there? <laughs> I hit you. Ah, now, now she's there, yeah. Yes, I can. Uh huh. I can blend the pen, Dora. Lend you. Lend you ten dollars. Ten dollars. I I heard a pen or pencil. I, I don't know. It was like a pen or pencil. But you got ten dollars. Good, Jennifer. That's a good uh for gain. <laughs> bueno, <for Tom. laughs> okay. Nice. Vine vine por cobre y encontré oro. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer. Now, Nubia, read your uh, question example and Maritza is going to answer. Maritza, okay. Maritza, can you let me do car tonight? Repeat, please. 
Uh, can you lend me your car tonight? No. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I can. I cannot lend you. No, I can. I cannot. Uh -huh. Let you. Lend you. Uh -huh. Lend you my card. Okay, good. And then it's like, oh. <laughs> All no. right, thank, thank you, Nubia. No. But it's a, let's read your question and Jonathan is going to answer. Okay, Jonathan, can you give me the information right now? I see. Uh, repeat the question, please. Can you give me the information right now? Um, yes, I can. Uh, I send you information I right can, now. I can give you the information right now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza. Now, Jonathan, read your question and uh, I think no, I <clears throat> Natalie. Natalie is going to participate now. Can you make my homework? <laughs> Do my homework, actually. Do my homework. Repeat, por favor. Can you make my homework? Jonathan. Huh? Eh, vamos a cambiar el verbo. En vez de make, eh, que sea do. OK. Can you, can you do my homework? Okay, very good. Yes, I can. I can. I can do my homework. Your homework. Your homework. Okay, teacher. Nice. Good. Thank you. That's, that's, that's altruist. That's being altruist. Natalie, usted le va a hacer la tarea a Jonathan. Cool. <laughs> Ni modo. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> read, read your question. And uh, Ruth is going to answer. Okay, Ruth. Um, can you have a party at your house? Ah, uh, yeah, party time. Sorry, sorry. Uh, repeat, please. Okay. Can you have a party at your house? No, I don't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't have a party in my house. Nah. Nah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right, thank Bien you. Bien alegre se pone el teacher cuando dicen party. Huh? Fiestero. Yeah, I used to. Now I know. I mean, here, like, there's no parties anywhere. The virus is dangerous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, we're like, like that with that. All right. Ruth, let's read your question and Jorge is going to answer. Okay. Um, you can call the partners to a meeting? Uh, can you? Can you? Yes. Uh -huh. Can you call the partners to a meeting? Okay. Yes, I can. I can call you the person. Right. Thank you. No, okay, good. See you, Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, hold ahead. Let's read your question. And Diana is going to answer. Diana? Yes. Diana, are you there? <coughs> yes. Okay. 
camera, Diana. Can you turn off the camera, please? <laughs> Good, man. Nice. Diana, answer the question. Okay. Diana, can you turn off the camera? No me escucha. Ah, no. Hola. Hi. This moment, yes. <laughs> me escucha. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, that's right. Ya le encendí. No, but, but, but besides, besides turning on the camera, let's, 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 let's answer the question. I know it's, it's something positive, but, but, but let's answer. You know. Yeah. It's the action. ¿A quién le voy a hacer la pregunta? Come on, Diana, Diana. I mean, eh, de la respuesta, Diana. No es literal, es bien literal. Repeat, please. <laughs> ah, no, I mean, answer the question, Diana. Teacher, can you write this report, please? Mm, okay. Alguien va a contestar en mi lugar, and that person is going to be... ¿A quién le va a caer? Let me see. <laughs> ah, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Can you please answer on my behalf, Vanessa? Hi, teacher. Can you answer to that question okay. for me? Repeat, please. Repeat, please. Can you write this report, please? Yes, I can. I can write report. This report. Now, okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Diana. Now, Vanessa, help me reading the question you got, and Stephanie Rutia is going to answer. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, can you help me at my work? Uh, yes, I can. I can help you the work. At your work. At your work. Okay, okay very good. So thank you, thank Vanessa. You. All right, cool. Now, uh, Mrs. Rutia, read your question and Rosa del Carmen is going to answer. Okay, Rosa, can you cook the dinner on Sunday? Nice. Yes, I can. I can cook the dinner on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. Qué bueno. No cocinaré yo. No tengo la culpa si si está quemada va. Okay. Cool. Al menos ya puede hervir agua. Se le quema. Se me <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Rosa. Let's read your question, Rosa. And uh, who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? Eric, let's 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 answer. Can you tell me what time is the meeting? Good. Yes, I can. Uh, Yes, I can. I can. ¿Qué dijo? Tell you. Uh, no, pero. Ah, uh, pero. Uh, All right, Rosa, uh, repeat the question. Can you tell me what time is the meeting? Yes, I can. I can tell you uh, the time of the meeting. Okay, very good. So thank you, Rosa, and thank you, Eric. All right, You're let's welcome. move on, people. Let's move on. That's related to first uh, to first person in a just yes, no question. Now let's let, let's do this, but with information question. Okay. Now it's no longer just yes, no question. This is an information question, right? Using WS words like what, what time, 
where, when, why, okay? When we provide extra information. So let's start with that structure. If you take a look in there, the structure is like WH word plus can plus subject plus main verb plus complement plus the question word. Okay, and we got an example in here. So let's read the examples and let's see who can help me out. Vanessa, help me out reading the first question, please. Okay, teacher. Where can you meet the president? Okay, thank you. So you see, in that case, we are like asking for one a very a specific information. And what is it? The location of the meeting, right? The location. So, Mrs. Urrutia, read the answer. I, I can meet the president in the meeting. In the meeting. Nah, okay, very good. I can meet the president in the meeting, right? Right, like. Puedo reunirme o puedo conocer al presidente en la reunión. So you see, it's like a very specific place. There you go. Okay, next question. Uh, Jorge, let's read. What time can she give the information about the product? Okay, very good. What time can she give me information about the product. Hilmar, let's read the answer. She can give you information about the product at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Okay, very good. At 10 p.m. There you go. So, in this este case, what are we asking here? Estamos pidiendo la hora en que esa acción será realizada o se va a realizar, ¿ok? Like the time. The answer it says, she can give you information about the product at 10 a.m. Let's remember that the one that changes in there is, it's just the time, right? Just the time. Good. Uh, until now, do you have any question with this, people? Any question, any doubt that you might have? Tenemos hasta acá alguna pregunta, alguna duda con relación a la estructura? As to this type of question? Something that might not be clear for you? you this moment, no, better? maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> maybe later? Nah, maybe yes. later. Like later is going to be easier than now in comparison to now. Hey, who's Mariana Menéndez? ¿Quién es Mariana Menéndez? Se me olvidó cambiar el nombre. <laughs> My God. Lo siento. <laughs> okay, change it. All right, let's continue, people. Or are you taking notes about this? Are you taking notes? Yes? All right, take notes if you haven't finished. And just let me know to move on. Well, I see, like, okay, let's suppose everybody finish, right? So, let's continue. Okay, we got some extra examples in here. Okay, related to this structure. Eric, help me reading. When can we get the product? Now, okay, very good. Ana Maria. Uh, we can get to product tomorrow. The product tomorrow. The product, right? We can get the product tomorrow. Like using when, right? Okay, uh, let's see who can help me out with this. Ever, let's read. What time can we stack the product? Okay, very good. Hey, what time, right, can we stock the product? There you go. 
Let's answer, Jennifer. We can stop the product at 1 p.m. Okay, we can start the product at 1 p.m. Very good. So we're asking about the time in there, right? In that specific question. All right, let's see another question. Carla, help me reading, Carla. Who can I stack the product with? Okay, who can I stack the product with? And the answer is going to be given by Natalie. You can stack the product with your co-worker. Okay, you can stack the product with your co-worker. So those are like additional examples for you people to get to know how to create you know, like information questions using can, like to ask for information, okay? Or possibilities about something. Like right now, I don't know if you have any question with this. No sé si tenemos alguna duda acá about the development of this type of uh, questions and answers. Yes? What? Stack. Stack. Stack es, es sinónimo, it's as a synonym of pile up. El verbo que teníamos anteriormente en el, en el desarrollo de los ejercicios con el have to and has to. Pile up significa apilar o ordenar, right, en secciones. In sections. That is a stack. Apilar o organizar algo. Digamos, en este caso, cajas, una sobre otra, right? Doing a section. That is a stack. Okay, thank you. Very good. Jonathan, you were about to say something? Esa misma pregunta tenía. Ah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Any other question, people? No? Mm, okay. Cool. If you don't have any other question, let's continue. But we're going to continue with the manual. Okay, we have ended up the grammar part. Ya terminamos entonces la explicación de la parte gramatical. Let's go to the manual. Thank you. So I'm going to stop in here for a moment. Vámonos. <laughs> Let's go back to the manual, not to the, not to the class. Let's see, people. Let's go to the page. No, 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 no. Uh, what is it? Give me a second. What am I doing? I'm messing up. Page 13. That's the page that I, I want you to go. This page. Page 13. What are we going to do in this page? Check this out. We got something in here. We got a, a, a chart in here. We got a chart with features or product. Okay. We got in here like the features. These are like the features. All right. And this is the products. These are the products like tablets, television, refrigerator. What are we going to do with this? Vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad con esto. Like, how come? Uh, some questions that we got in there. Check this out. Check this out, people. We got wave. Do you remember this, this, this vocabulary from class one? What is wave? It's so. Okay, very good. <laughs> Dimension. Dimensiones. Okay, very good. And quantity? Cantidad. Okay, very good. So we got, all right, tablets. Right, we got tablets. Let's start with tablets. Okay, let's start in here. It says, okay, give me a second. Give me a second. I gotta start with this thing. Give me a second, something is happening to this thing. Now, uh, what happened? Ah, okay. ¿Qué pasó con esta computadora? Okay, cool. Got it change, here. Change, teacher, change. 
Yeah, I need to change it. I actually gonna change it like in a month. All right, we got the weight for tablets. 170 grams. Check this out. This G is like the synonym of grams, right? Grams. So in this part, we got like, like the weight, right? And the dimension, how can we read this? Check this out. 19, it's an app. 19.3, okay. Two. Yeah. Centimeters, centimeters, right? Centimeters. Yeah, this is like the CM, centimeter. Times, times, para decir por, is like times, okay? Time. Times, times, 13.7 centimeters, times, 103 centimeters, right? That's the way how we read that part. Así es como leemos esas partes, okay? Entonces, el por es times. 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 All right. El que generalmente nosotros escribimos como times. Times. That is S. Por. Hi, Jonathan. Teacher, uh, how do you spell it? Gram. Like grams, just like that? Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down here. Permítame, la voy a escribir acá. G. I'm gonna put it here. Like that? Grams? Yeah, you got it there. Grams. Okay. There you go. So that is the, a, like the dimensions and the quantity, 200, right? 200. That's the amount of ta tablets in that case. Let's go on it with television. We got a wave. How do you wow. read that, that wave, people? Let's see. 112.43 pounds. Uh -huh. Yeah, in that case, listen up. A pesar que tenemos ahí, like, LBS, podrían decir ustedes, es like, hey, pero eso es como el eso es como la abreviación de libras in Spanish, right? In Spanish. LBS. But what happened in English? In English, we got libras too. Esa palabra también es usada en inglés, like libras. Okay? Libras. It's also used in English. So that's why you might find like that, okay, also in English. All right? Entonces, ¿qué significa en ese caso? Pounds per weight. Okay, entonces ahí estamos hablando de peso, right? But in English, it's like, like, like the same. Libras. It's like <coughs> the same, right? From English into Spanish. So, that is related to the weight. Now, the dimension, 41.3, right? In that case, it's like inches, right? Inch, inches. Inch, what is inch? Inches. Exactly, right? Like this, it's like pulgada. With yes, pulgadas, that's a plural form, okay? That's a plural form, mm -hmm. All right? Times 26. 0.7 inches, right? Remember, that's that's the dimension. And then the quantity, it says 100, right? Like, like 100 televisions. And then we got the last one, refrigerators. Okay, the weight. Yes, right, refrigerators. There you go. So we got 314. Uh -huh, 300. 40 pounds, all right? Hi, friend. 380 pounds, all right? So we gotta like add the measure, right? That's like in that case, right? Depending on the, on the, like, you know, the type of, or the size of uh, the refrigerators, right? And then we got the dimension. The dimension is like 48, right? like one over eight or one hyphen eight, okay? 
and then we get the quantity. What is the quantity? 50, 50 refrigerators. Okay, how can we move this type of materials to a warehouse? That will be like kind of difficult, right? Let's imagine if I, if I put Eric and Ever to move 50 refrigerators uh, to a warehouse just by using their hands in one day. Yeah, obviously they can do it. And Eric is like, yes, of course. Yeah, right. Nice. Okay, what are, we do, what are we gonna do with that information, people? Check this out. Below here, uh, give me a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eliminate this part. Just to continue with this. Teacher, solo yes. algo que siempre se me olvida. No, eso no se me queda. Me cuesta eh, lo de la pleca. Eh, ¿Cómo es que se? Ajá. Pero ¿cómo se escribe siempre? Give me a second. Thank you. Ok, no problem. Ah, it's with Y, 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 hyphen. Hyphen. Yes, like this. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what about here? Check this out. We got a bunch of questions in here. And question number one says, Carla, help me reading. Can one person store all the all the television on the shelf? One self. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Okay. Is this a yes no question or an information question? Can one person? Uh -huh. store Store all the televisions oneself. Puede una sola persona guardar todas las televisiones? Las televisiones? Mm. Yes or no? Remember, that is a yes no answer. No, I can't. Ah, okay. Let's write down the answer there. Okay. Let's do that. Let's write down the answer, right? So in that case, he will say, give me a second. Dice Eric que sí, al pobre Salvador ponía eso. <laughs> Eric, would you no, do es it? Que, es que le está preguntando que si puede una persona guardar todos los televisores, pero no le dicen cuánto tiempo. Ah. Ok, puede ser un mes. No, he should. All right, because no. he, he, since we're talking about an agenda the way, it can be she or it can be he. All right. And, all right. He or she can't store all television. All right. One cell. Or if you want to put it himself or herself, right? Okay, now, second question. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? In a large uh, warehouse. Okay, very good. But let's, let's put it like a complete, complete answer. Let's use a complete answer. Vamos a hacerla como una oración completa. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? I. I can. Uh -huh, I can. Store. Store. Uh -huh. 50. Aha. Aha. In a warehouse. In a, okay, as, as, as she said, in a large warehouse. 
in a large warehouse. Okay, good. Now the last one. Can you store the tablets on the shelves? By the way, what is shelves? Estantes. Estantes. Very good. So, what do you think? Is that a positive or negative answer? Positive. positive? Yes, I can. You can? Ah, okay. If you say yes, you write down the answer with yes, right? If you think that it is not possible, let's write no and let's do it, okay? I am Esther, por favor, All right? Depending on you, remember, this is like something personal. This is according, according to you. It can be positive or it can be negative. And let's do it. Yes, I can. Can you store the tables on shelves? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Let me know when you finish. Yes, I can store the tables on the on shelves. Okay, let's write down one, one possible answer, the one that you have right now. Okay, I want one answer. Uh, can you store the tablets on the shelves? If it is negative, you can say, no, okay, no, I, no, I can't, no, I can't, I can't, all right? store the tablets on shelves. If it is positive, yes, I can. I can store the tablets on Helps, you see, it is not even necessarily to write to write down like you know like like the amount of tablets. It's like that. Okay, you can put it that way. If you have it positive, you can put it like the the first one, like the second one, and if you get it negative, you can put it like the first one. Okay, that's the way. Now, if you have already finished that part, let's move on to the next page. Let's go to the next page. Hmm, I see like you're like still writing. So are you still escribiendo esta parte? Or do you finish? Finish. Okay, nice. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next, to the next part. I guess we're gonna need. Give me a second.
Let's move on to here. All right, this is part of what we were explaining already. Okay, can for information, can for possibilities. It's likely the same, but what do I really want you to focus on is in here, in these possible questions. How, oh, in this case, like how are we gonna do here? Check this out. Como vamos a hacer acá? This is gonna be like kind of easy for you. Lo que vamos a hacer básicamente es, acá ustedes tienen las respuestas. Lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a crear las preguntas para esas respuestas. And how are we going to do that? Acá en la respuesta ya tenemos los verbos que vamos a utilizar. Ok. Y tenemos la estructura. ¿Cómo así? Ustedes ya saben cómo va una estructura cuando usamos yes, no question. Ok. Ya saben cómo es la respuesta. Ya saben la respuesta que damos cuando hacemos una information question usando una WS word, ya sea where, ya sea when, ya sea what time or what. So let's do one as example. Let's do number one as the example. Thank you. <coughs> Let me see, let's do number one. Question number one. It says the answer, check this out. You can store them in the back room. In this case, in this case, we can talk about a big product, okay? En este caso, podemos hablar de un producto, ya sea en general, que necesitemos guardar. Example. Okay. Example. All right. Check this out. Where. ¿Por qué where? Porque en este caso acá no puede ser que en el principio porque no tenemos ningún yes. O ningún no. Y como dice, you can store them in the back room. Estamos dando un lugar específico. Ah, entonces la pregunta tiene que comenzar con where. Where can I? ¿Por qué? Porque la respuesta dice you can. Ok, no puede decir la pregunta can you. Right? It is, it is not possible. Can I store? Ok. The, let's put the tablets. Ustedes pueden poner televisions, pueden poner refrigerators if you want, right? But it has to be plural. Can I store the tablets? Where can I store the tablets? And you got the question there. Y ahí tenemos la pregunta. Where can I store the tablets? Ah, you can store them in the back room. You see? Puedes guardarla en el salón de atrás. And you got the question. Okay, let's do number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Before we leave. Just let me know if you have any question with that or if you have any problem with the vocabulary that appears in each question. Um. Just let me know if you have any question with that. Mm -hmm. Did we finish the question number two? Ya terminamos la pregunta dos. Yes? Okay. Good. ¿Quién está todavía en la pregunta dos? Is somebody in question number two?
No? Okay. You can guide yourself from the examples that we were practicing. So just let me know when you finish. Let's remember if you have any question related to the vocabulary that appears in next question, just let me know. In the teacher. Okay, very good. Is everybody about to finish? Aparte de Gilmar, ¿quién más termina ya? Finish, teacher. Ok, no bien. Good. Jennifer, do you finish? I finish. Nah, ok. Yeah, I saw your face. It's like, ah, I finished. Can I sleep now? <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. Okay, let's check the answers that you have already, like from right now, because it's likely time, people, right? And I don't want to have you like, you know, like, like no more than, than, than the expected hour, okay? So let's see, let's, let's use number two. Eh, jeje, vamos a preguntar a los que tienen todos la cámara apagada. Let's start a web. Natalie, read number two. Listen up. Natalie is going to read number two. Ana Maria is going to read number three. Jonathan is going to read number four. Jorge is going to read number five. And Mrs. Urrutia is going to read number six. Okay? Uh, teacher, that. sorry. In this moment, I call the, my office. Ah, you got to call the, be, be, Because the two of the, the camera. Because, right, I, I tried the, the exercise, no problem. Cool, man. No problem. <clears throat> okay. Natalie, I'm going to start with you. Where is Natalie? Natalie. 
Ayan ni Natalie said. Natalie, are you there? Okay. Two options. Oh, she's not there or she fell asleep? <laughs> I think it's the second one. Okay, le habrá hecho Mrs. Rutia. Okay, good. Now, instead of uh, Natalie, because I don't think she's there, uh, Rosa, are you there? Yes. Okay, Rosa, can you please read uh, how you got question number two? Can she sing the form? Yes, she can. Can she? Ah, oh, my God, what is it? She sign the form like this? Yes. Can she sign the form? Yes, she can. She can sign the form. Okay, very good. Okay, who got number three? Ana Maria, are you there? Hmm. Eh, sí, aquí estoy. Ah, ok, cool. Bueno, yo había puesto where can where can we move, move al, al DTVs. Ajá, pero si preguntamos eso, eh, creo que no tendría lo, lógica, Ana María, si le contestamos no, we can. We can move all the television. Es que me confundí. Ajá, ajá. Okay, Let, let's ask for help. In this case... Can you? Ask... Can you sería ahí. No, oh. porque me confundí. Pero porque abajo dice we cannot. No, ahí fue que me confundí. Because in this case, remember... Mm -hmm. If you got that in the answer, if you got we in the question, you have to put we. Include yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. in this case is. Can you. Can we. Can we. <laughs> Pardon. Yeah. Can we. Uh -huh. Can move, we. Move all the televisions. Yes. So like that. Yeah. Yeah, can we move all the televisions? Mm -hmm. That's a yes, no question, right? Very good. There you go. Okay, number four. Who got number four? Find the incoming things. Who did I say? Uh, Mrs. Urrutia, are you there? Yes, but my exercise is six. Nah. Is it the six? Huh? Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Ah, all right. Jonathan, <laughs> read the next one. Read number four, uh, Jonathan. Yeah. When, when can fill up the boxes? When can? Can fill up the boxes? Uh, solo, solo no la escucho muy bien, Jonathan, el, el, el subject. We can fill up the box. Ah, usted tiene we, y luego tiene fill up the boxes. Like this? No, we. No le había puesto. Ah, ¿cuál le había puesto? Ninguno. <laughs> Ninguno. No, 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 no. Uh, in this case, we need a, uh, we need a subject. Necesitamos un sujeto ahí, Jonathan. Okay. En este caso, el subject. What is the subject, uh, Eric? They. They. Exactly, right? En este caso sería they. Here. In this part. They. When can they pile up the boxes? They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Okay, so let's let's put number five. Okay, a number five. Jorge, hey, help me out with number five. I try. Uh, 
uh, we can. Uh, is is in the question? In the question. The question is: uh, uh, You can store the meeting cards on the warehouse. Is it number five? That is the answer. Ah, uh -huh. you have to okay. create the question. Okay. Uh, for me, um, we can. One thing that you have to identify is is the way how is the answer. Que está dándonos eh, prácticamente la respuesta nos está dando la clave de cómo se la pregunta. Okay. Para comenzar, para comenzar, it's not a just no question. So no podemos comenzar con can. Vamos a comenzar con una WS word. Y what, what is the WS word that we are going to start with? When. 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 Are you sure? When. Let me see, let me see. Storage. Uh, oh, no, no. Change. Uh, it's where. Exactly, right? Where. Very good. So let's start up. Where. Uh -huh. Where can. Uh -huh. uh, maybe a storage. Storage. Or like that. Okay. Continue. Subject. Okay. Sorry. Where can you? I lost. <laughs> Come on, Jorge. No, this is a personal personal question, Jorge. This yes, is okay. this is in first person. Como en la respuesta dice, you. Supongamos que supongamos, Jorge, okay. que usted me está, o sea, Ay. usted se está auto preguntando, pero la pregunta va para mí. Yo le digo, you can afford the ninety cars on the warehouse. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Okay. I... Where can where can I Ajá. can storage? Ok, como ya tenemos can, no lo vamos a repetir. Oh, sorry. Vamos a poner el verbo. Y en este caso sería store. Where, where can, can I? Ajá, where can I store? The, the, car, the 19 cars. The 90 cars. The 90 cars on the warehouse. Uh, no, porque eso no. Ya, es, ya es el complemento de la respuesta. La clave de la respuesta. You see? Oh, okay. Where okay. can I store the 90 cars? Ah, you can store the 90 cars on a warehouse. Así sería la pregunta. Okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. All right. To you, man. Thanks. Okay. Mrs. Urrutia, read the last one. Um, can you give me information of the product? Okay, let me check. Okay, very good. Can you give me information of the product? Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. That's the way how it has to be there. Okay? Entonces, esa es la forma en cómo tendría que ir. Like right over there. Okay, people, listen up. So, because of the time, and I do I really apologize because I move on eight minutes before, uh, right after your time. Listen. As a model of practice from now on, De ahora en adelante, como una práctica adicional, vamos a estar entrando a la plataforma en la sección de discusiones cada día. Ok. We're going to do that every day. Y esto es porque es básicamente hoy nos han pedido como un requerimiento más especial, like from Insofer, para que ustedes puedan practicar un poco más. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en la sección de dis discusión, discusión de la plataforma? Está justo al lado de la sección donde ustedes están haciendo las tareas, ¿ok? En la sección de discusión, yo voy a colocar un par de respuestas. Listen up. Voy a colocar un par de respuestas usando can y quiero que ustedes me escriban las preguntas, ¿ok? Eso va a ser con relación al tema de esta noche. Entonces, después de clase, 
Yo voy a hacer esa parte y ustedes pueden tener mañana todo el día para poder eh, hacer las preguntas, ¿ok? En la parte de discusión de la plataforma. Right after that, uh, I'm going to be like constantly checking for your answers, right? Esa sería como una práctica adicional aparte de las tareas que están haciendo ahí mismo en la plataforma. Eh, no van a ser, o sea, bastantes. Lo más, like four. ¿okay? Como a modo de práctica, lo más, lo más que se pueda colocar son cuatro. ¿okay? The four possible answers to the questions that you are going to write down, okay? Eh, antes de terminar, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any questions related to this? So everything is clear. ¿Todo está claro? No, okay, cool. I hope so. Eso espero. <laughs> okay, I must save this information. Give me a second. I'm gonna put this up and I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna pass the attendance list and we're gonna finish the class with this. So let's start. Ana Claribel, no here. Ana Maria. Present. Good. Carlos Ademir is not here. Y Eric Guillermo? Present, teacher. Okay, Eric, because Carlo is not here, now you're going to stay with the 10 minutes feedback, okay? Okay, teacher. Good night. Nice. Nice. Well, <coughs> ever de Jesús. Present, teacher. Good. Fatima Alejandra? Present. Nice. Gilmar Cruz? Present. Okay, Jonathan Alexander. Present. Nice. Jorge Elber. Present. Okay, Carla Benacer. Present, teacher. Okay, Margot Hernandez. Nice, she's not here, right? Maritza Alcira. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Mm, let's see, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Ah, you are there, Natalie. Huh. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, Romeo. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, cool. Ruth, Joanna. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Sara Carolina, Snow here. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, nice. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Okay, good. William Alberto is not here. Roxana Yesenia is not here. Novia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, great. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, nice. And Diana Gabriela. Present. All right, Eric, people. Eric me va a decir qué fue lo que dijo. Hace un rato, Hilmar. My God, are you serious? Probably Eddie forgot about that and Hilmar too. <laughs> come on, Ana Maria. Okay, people, listen up. I yes. am a good If you have, come on, Eddie. If you have any question related to the, to the practice that you're going to do in the discussion section, let me know in the WhatsApp group, okay? Cualquier duda que pueden tener con respecto a la plataforma o en la sección de discusión, just let me know in the group. Háganmelo saber en el grupo, ¿ok? Might be like by tomorrow. All right. So that's going to be everything for tonight, people. So let's see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night. <coughs> Good night, everybody. Good Have night. Tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Eric, Good night. stay. Gotta stay. <laughs> ya bye, se fue. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Come on, Ana Maria. No le diga. Bye-bye, <laughs> Maritza. Bye. Okay. See you. Ya, right. ya sí, yo que se quedaba, Ana Maria. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, good, Eric. So we're going to have like the 10 minutes and you know that these 10 minutes are just to clarify any question or doubt that you might have about this class and the two classes that we have before. Okay, sure. I, I have many to with have two and has two. Uh -huh. um, uh, my question. 
Eso, realmente, fíjese. Ajá. Eh, el, in, that case, in that case, Eric, what is, what is like, like the, the most difficult part for you? Me, mm, eh, I confirm me. Eh, a veces sí lo, lo como que no me he quedado muy claro o sea en, en el plural sí sé que es how to uh -huh. ¿Sí? en primera eh, persona verdad uh -huh. y, y, y plural y hash to este es para terceras personas en, en singular, ¿sí? Ajá. Check this out. All of them just have two. Okay, this is in positive statements. Let's put like this. Music. Take this out. What happened here? Look, in this este case, Eric, we must have to con I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. Cuando decimos plural nouns, hablamos de dos personas, dos animales, dos cosas, dos lugares. ¿Ok? En este caso tengo en paréntesis acá, Hilmar en Nubia. So, yo puedo decir, I have to practice English. Tengo que practicar inglés. You have to practice English. Tienes que practicar inglés. We, in plural, we have to practice English. Tenemos que practicar inglés. They have to practice English. Ellos tienen que practicar inglés. O plural noun. Hilmar and Nubia have to practice English. Hilmar and Nubia tienen que practicar inglés. So you see, esto, es, esto sucede en oraciones positivas. ¿Ok? Positive statements. Okay. Luego tenemos las negative statements. Negative statements. ¿Qué es el predominante en los negative statements? Look. Lo que predomina más, vamos a comenzar con, con don't. don't. Don't, don't, recordemos, es una unión entre do y not. Not. All right. Okay. So, lo mismo. <coughs> lo mismo que acá. Check this out. So, I can copy this information. And paste it here. What is the difference? Ah, que acá, en este caso, check this out. Agregamos don't. Okay. Okay. I don't have to practice English. You don't have to practice English. No tienes que practicar inglés, right? So it's not an obligation. Aquí ya no es una obligación, okay? We, nosotros, we don't have to practice English. They don't have to practice English. And the last one for two nouns, Hilmar and Nubia don't have to practice English. Entonces acá ya estamos en oraciones negativas. Para todos esos pronombres y nombres propios que tengo ahí, Utilizamos don't. Don't. Okay, don't. Yes, para todos estos. Don't. Y acá pues simplemente el have to tiene que ir en forma base. Ok. Y eh, practice English. En este caso practice es el verbo. English es el complemento. Ok. okay. okay. This happens. <coughs> yes, again, I'm going to make this kind of. Or I'm going to put it this, this, this way. Okay, this one 
is used about positive and negative statements using first person, second person, and plural. Okay. Now let's let's do another one using positive statement using third person. This is completely different. In what aspect? That in this case, we use a different, a different part. How come? Check this out. He, he, it. Hey. No, in este caso puede ser no. un, uh, singular. Um. Nouns. Con singular nouns me refiero, por ejemplo, a su nombre. Eric. O. Let's put. Um, Carlos. Ok, what do we do here? Ah, he. Check this out. All right, have to. Is that correct, Eddie, or not? What do you think? Tendría que ser has. Ah, very good. ¿Por qué tendría que ser has? Porque estamos hablando de terceras personas. Ah, okay, very good. All right, singular it says has to eat healthy. There you go. In this case, it's a positive statement for person. Recordemos, con he, she, it, en singular nouns, cuando mencionamos una sola persona, un solo lugar, una sola cosa, ok. En ese caso usamos has to, no have to. Example, he has to eat healthy. Él tiene que comer saludable. She has to eat healthy. Ella tiene que comer saludable. All right. It has to eat healthy. Tiene que comer saludable. Probablemente estemos hablando de un animalito. Ok. Mm -hmm. Recuerda que con, con, con ese tipo, con un animalito sí podemos usar eat. Luego eat. tenemos singular noun como Eric has to eat healthy. Eric tiene que comer saludable. You see? O Carlos has to eat healthy. Carlos tiene que Comer saludable. You see, en esos casos usamos have, has to. Pero en qué, en qué, en qué aspecto? Positive, positive statement. Exactly. Positive statement. Mm -hmm. What happened with negatives? Negative statement. ¿Cuál era el auxiliar que utilizábamos en la otra? And do. Ajá. ¿Y cómo es, cómo es para formar oraciones? Eh, en este caso sería doesn't. Exactly. En este caso acá sería doesn't. So you see? Entonces yo puedo decir he doesn't y acá, remember, acá ya el verbo se modifica y se coloca have to. Lo puede subir un poquito más, teacher. Give me a second, give me a second. Eh, ahorita lo subimos. Ahí creo que queda. Ahí oh, está bien. Okay. Thank cool. you. Entonces yo puedo decir, check this out. He doesn't have to eat healthy. She doesn't have to eat healthy. Or with singular nouns. He doesn't have to eat, eat healthy. Or Eric doesn't have to. Si ve, ya ahí la que, el que se modifica es el don't. Ya no es don't, sino pasa a ser doesn't. doesn't. Se le agrega es. Ok. Eric doesn't have to eat healthy o Carlos doesn't have to eat healthy. Entonces ya la estructura que llevaba has to arriba ya no puede ir con has to, a pesar que sea una tercera persona. ¿Por qué? 
Porque doesn't está haciendo la acción de la tercera persona. De la tercera. Oh. Exactly. So this is in negative statements. Entonces, así es como se forman las oraciones negativas. You see? Y ahí, ahí es donde doesn't. yo me he equivocado más. Ahí really? es donde me he equivocado más, sí. Es que ya cuando veía en negativo, eh, eh, me confundía y ya cuando veía el positivo, ya, ya me hacía bola. Sí, <risa> créame que sí, teacher, sí. Eh, lo, del, lo del homework eh, me costó un poco lo de la plataforma. Ah, ¿really? Sí. Sí, ah, no sé eh, por qué, fíjese. Me ha costado. Ah, ¿no? porque... Because this one is like not that difficult. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero, pero hay veces temas que son así, que a veces, ajá, suelen causarnos sí. como un pequeño dolor de cabeza, como dicen. Ajá, sí, but, sí. pero a lo mejor es el cambio, el cambio del, del auxiliar. Y el del sí. pues, a, da, a doesn't, y que ya acá eh, la estructura, que en este caso es have to, tiene que permanecer, okay. tiene que permanecer en forma base. Right. Sí, sí, no, ajá. Right. Okay, now an example, an example using third person in negative, Eric. Can you give me an example? Um, she doesn't uh, cook the dinner. Uh, doesn't have to cook the dinner. Okay, very good. She doesn't mm -hmm. have to cook the dinner. In this case, you have to tiene que ir en forma base. Okay, very good. Y si hacemos esa oración positiva, ¿cómo sería? Eh, she has to cook the dinner. Ah, ok, very good. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. esa es la forma. Ah, ok, teacher. <laughs> yes. I don't know, really? if, you, I don't know if, you, if you have an additional question to, related to this. No, teacher. Uh, so, only it's, only this. It was, it was just, just your doubt, was this. Only the doubt that you had? ¿Solo esa era la duda que tenía? Sí, solamente, dicho. Ah, solamente okay. eso. Eh, con, con que sí, no, no, no tengo. Ah, la única duda que tuve con lo de Ken, este que usted hizo ahorita, que yo la número dos la había contestado de distinta manera. Eh, vale. eh, vamos. Eh, eh, de la página de page eh, eh, de la tarea la 14 creo que era sí ajá la 14 que estamos haciendo las las oraciones yo la la contesté ya le digo pero como aquí la tengo number two eh, the number eh, o number one Uh, can you move a ah, este la de la de las can you ¿Cuál fue que es? can you move a ah, en a en a number three ajá eh, uh -huh, que sí uh, eh, no we can't We can't move all the television. Yo había puesto originalmente, can you move all the televisions? Como eh, refiriéndome a, a you, de ustedes. Ajá. Pueden ustedes mover todas las televisiones. Y, y usted puso ahí, can eh, we? Can we, ajá. ajá. Can, can, We move all the television. O sea, ¿podemos nosotros mover las, la, todos los televisores? O... Ambas formas, Eric, son posibles. Both ah, ways okay. are possible. Tomándolo ah. en el contexto que usted lo tomó, también es correcto. All right? It doesn't ah, okay. mean that it's... Eh, ahí no, no, no importa si le puso you, porque como hay un you, que es para decir ustedes, ¿ok? Uh -huh. so, en ese caso, pretendamos que quienes contestaron es a ese grupo de personas, y se les hizo la pregunta. So, in that case, it's possible, right? Entonces, ah, en ese okay. caso es posible. Ajá, ahí, mm -hmm. si usted la puso de esa manera, it's correct. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. You put it the ah, way I, I wrote it down, it's, it's correct too. 
Ajá. Ok, ah, pues solamente eso fue la duda que yo la, 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 la había dejado así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Bueno, ni la modifiqué en el archivo donde voy tomando Ajá. todas las no, notas. No, yes, ¿no? Is, is still correct. Eso es, está bien, está correcta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya, porque ahí está viendo, la respuesta la está tomando a, a modo de que el grupo contestó, al grupo que se le preguntó. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, es oh. correcto. Ok, teacher. Good. Entonces, so, that's it. That's it. That's all your doubts. Ok, cool. <laughs> all right. So, if you don't have any other question, Eric, so let's see you tomorrow, ok? Any question related to the, to the, you know, like discussion topic, just can text me or write on the group, ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok. So, let's see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.